Hey guys, happy Halloween and welcome to my first Hey J vlog, where I'll be taking you behind the scenes of my TikTok videos. I'll also be giving you a short book review on the book Now We Are 600, and I'll also be answering some of the questions that you guys have asked me. So, let's begin. So, just to give you a brief introduction on who I am, my name is Jay. I'm from the United Kingdom, and for the last seven months I've been making Doctor Who TikToks. Just like many people, I made TikToks just for a laugh, and then one of my videos became popular, and then I began to realise that many people on TikTok like the same stuff that I did. Since the age of five, I've been quite a big Doctor Who fan. Seeing a person of many faces travelling across all of time and space, going on adventures which no ordinary person could possibly imagine, was just a fantastic thing to watch each week, and honestly, sometimes still is today. There's no other British TV show or franchise which has an infinite amount of possibilities when it comes to adventures like Doctor Who. And that's why I love the show. The Doctor can go on any adventure at any place in the universe at any point of time. The possibilities are literally endless. But apart from Doctor Who, I do like other franchises like Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Harry Potter and Back to the Future. Yes, I am a bit of a geek. <laughs> Just so you guys know, my favourite Doctor is David Tennant. My favourite story is Human Nature and Family of Blood. My favourite companion is Sarah Jane Smith. And my favourite series is Series 4 and the Specials. Well, that's all for the Get to Know Me section of the video. If you want to know anything else about me, then just ask down below in the comments. And now for the book review. This month's book is Now We Are 600, written by James Goss, with illustrations by Russell T. Davis. Now We Are 600, a Time Lord verse, is a small novel filled with 50 poems about the characters and creatures that we know and love from the Doctor Who universe, such as characters like the Space Pig from Aliens of London, Missy, the Master, Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister, and many, many more. If I had to describe this book in any way, I'll say that Now We Are 600 is a love letter to all things Doctor Who. From Classic Who, to New Who, to all those companions that were sadly forgotten about. This book has a poem for nearly every character you could possibly think of. The book was released in September of 2017. So this doesn't include anything from the Chris Chibnall era. The book also does not include anything from Torchwood, Class, or the Server Jane Adventures. But I would like to see a book like this get released in the future, so all the characters that weren't mentioned would get a poem written about them. Like I said earlier, this is a love letter to all things Who. So whether you're a mega Whovian, or just a fan of Classic Who, or just a fan of Modern Who, I highly suggest you buy this book, because it's filled with some very charming and humorous pieces of writing. And now, last but not least, the q and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who asked a question, and if you want your question answered, then write them in the comments down below. Let's begin. So our first question is from Mind of Books, who asks... Who is your favourite Doctor Who duo or trio that doesn't include the Doctor? Well, my favourite classic Who duo is Sarah Jane and Harry. And I'm quite excited to start reading Scratch Man as I know they're the Doctor's companions in that adventure. But for new Who, I'd probably have to go with Captain Jack and Rose. We didn't see much of them together with the Doctor, but hopefully we hear more in Big Finish's upcoming Ninth Doctor's adventures. The second question is from uh, Codename HD who asks, uh, which do I prefer more, Sprite or 7-Up? Honestly, they're pretty much th uh, the same, but if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with 7-Up. Um, the Beast 2001 asks, what's your favourite franchise or least favourite franchise? Well, there's many bad franchises, um, so it would be hard to pick uh, my least favourite, but my favourite is Back to the Future. Hi, I am a Hufflepuff asks, uh, what do you think of the latest Doctor Who series? I personally think uh, series 12 was an improvement on series 11. Uh, I did enjoy series 12. However, uh, I didn't like the reveal at the end. 
but I'm going to wait until that reveal is uh, explained more, until I make my mind up on that subject. Uh, Matthew Keck asks, uh, do I think the Timeless Child would be better if they were the master? Uh, simply yes. Uh, yes, I do. That's all I'm going to say on it. Uh, Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister, and Lady Abs uh, both ask, who is your favourite companion? Uh, Sarah Jane Smith, because uh, she's just amazing, and I wish we had uh, gotten to see more of her in New Who. And lastly, Jess Harwood, who just so happens to be here, asks... Who is your favourite Star Wars character? Well, my favourite character from the prequels is Obi-Wan Kenobi. My favourite character from the originals is Han Solo. And my favourite character from the uh, Metal Gear sequels is Poe Dameron. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who asked a question. And I'd like to say thank you for Jess for popping in. Say bye, Jess. Bye, Jess. I hope you all enjoyed a little look behind that guy in the TikTok videos. If you'd like to see more, then just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos. I hope you all have a fun and safe Halloween, and I'll see you next time. But until then, here's an exclusive TikTok for you all. Bye, guys. Do you want a tea or a coffee? Uh, yeah, can I have half and half, please? Sorry? Like, can I have tea in the bottom half of the mug and then coffee in the top half of the mug, please? Oh, right. Yeah, I started drinking it about 18 months ago. I call it a toffee or a key. But you can't ask for that in a cafe because they just bring you a toffee or a key.